What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Lands and I'm here with Sky Survivors. This game released onto Xbox and Windows April 5th, 2024 for a price of $5.99. It's a pretty fun game and a really easy completion and I'm going to show you how to get all the achievements. It's also a stack so you can get all the achievements twice. This game only has 10 achievements. It's a roguelike shooter kind of like Vampire Survivors except you just go side to side and eventually you can jump upwards. You have to kill 500, 1500, and 3000 enemies in one session. You have to kill the Moth, he's a boss. You also have to kill the Slime King. After you finish your run, we need to buy your first upgrade, we need to buy a new weapon, and you also need to buy a new character. You need to unlock three chests in one session. This is not in one run, this is one session without quitting the game. So you can get the first chest three times, or you can get three chests in one game. I recommend getting two chests, then dying, and then getting another chest to get your third one. That should be the easiest and fastest way, and then the last achievement is for leveling up to level 10, which you'll get no problem in your first run. So let's start this game and I'm going to go over everything and show you how to play. This is where you pick your characters, your weapons and upgrades. We have no money so you just have to go with the default. After you die or finish your run you're going to come back here and you're going to have some money and you can buy a new character, a new weapon and an upgrade and you'll get those achievements. But for now we can just go to play and start it up. It's going to give you an option here for the aim. You could go auto or manual. I definitely recommend doing auto aim. It will make this game so much easier for you. So now we're going to start the game. You move around with the left thumbstick and you jump with A. And your gun's going to automatically shoot at all the enemies that come towards you. And all you have to do is just keep moving around and shooting the enemies. The enemies are going to drop experience. And then you're just going to keep picking it up. And eventually you can pick upgrades. Just like Vampire Survivors, you can pick new weapons. Or you can upgrade your damage. As you can see, there's different upgrades here. You want to make sure you don't pick any upgrades that reduce your damage. Make sure you always read the cards and check the bottom. Like this one is negative damage. You don't want to pick this. Just keep trying to make yourself stronger by adding more weapons and more damage. If you do that, you're going to have no problem. You'll see that you're going to keep killing the enemies, and the enemies are just going to keep coming. Eventually, you're going to have some bosses show up. This is actually the first boss here. After you kill him, you're going to get a good upgrade, and then it's going to add some platforms so you can start going up. So here's the upgrades after killing him. This one shoots backwards and makes me more powerful, so this is a really good one. And now it's going to add new platforms so we can start jumping up. You're going to see a few helpful things on screen. There's these flowers that give you hearts if you need health. There's also these green crystals you could pick up and use them for an extra weapon. You don't really need to use this, but you can if it comes in handy. And then you're going to see these books that will give you an upgrade. Just stand there and wait for the time to go down. Once the time goes down, it will give you the book and give you some upgrades. This is how it is with the chest too. We're going to get our first chest after we kill the next boss. The next boss is the Slime King, and after you kill him, we're going to be able to get our first chest. And like I said, we have to get three chests in one session, not one game. So we're going to try to get two chests in this one game, and then we're going to play again and get our third chest, and that should be your last achievement. After playing for a little bit, you should get the achievement for getting up to level 10. It doesn't take very long to get to level 10. You should get there pretty quickly, and around the same time, you should be getting the achievement for killing 500 enemies, which I'm about to do right now. We have to kill 3,000 enemies in one session. After you kill the moth boss, you should get it right around there. So there we go. I got killed 500 enemies. And we're just going to keep playing until we get to the Slime King boss. Eventually, the Slime King boss will show up. And you can kill him. And we'll get an achievement. And then we can also pick another upgrade. This middle one is another good one. And after you pick the upgrade, it's going to add some more platforms so we can jump up higher. And also, the first chest is going to show up. So like I said, we have to get three chests. This is going to be our first chest. You can see it on the screen, it will have a bubble on it. So it's over here, and you'll see a countdown. You just have to stand on the chest and wait for the time to count down. And then it's going to open and give you an upgrade. And then you just got to keep playing and kill more enemies until we get to the next boss. And the next boss is the Moth, and this should be the final boss that you have to fight. He's bigger and stronger than the other bosses. He takes a lot more hits, but he's still not that bad. And eventually when you kill him, you're going to get an achievement. And also you get another upgrade. And then it's going to add more platforms so we can go up again. And our next chest is going to be there so we can get our second chest. So just climb up and again we're going to stand in front of it. This time we have to kill enemies to open this chest. You don't have to stand in the circle. You can jump around a little bit. But after you kill the enemies it's going to open it up. And that's going to be our second chest open. And now I just got the achievement for killing 3,000 enemies in one session. And this is the last achievement that you have to get in one game. After getting this you can actually die. And then we can buy our upgrades. And we're going to play one more game to get another chest. You can keep playing in this game if you want and kill the next boss and get the next chest but it's a lot easier just to die and then go back and get the first chest because you only need to get three chests in one session not in one game so as long as you don't quit out the game you'll get the achievement. It's the same thing with the kills too it's in one session the only thing you really have to worry about is killing the moth so after you kill the moth and you get two chests then you could die and we could start up another game but we're going to buy a new character a new weapon and an upgrade so we can get those three achievements. So this is where you buy them at. You should have enough money to buy all three. 
So we'll buy a character, get an achievement, buy a weapon, get an achievement. And then we're going to go to the right and buy an upgrade and get an achievement. Make sure you buy like a cheaper one so you have enough for all three. And now we're just going to start up the game and we're going to get one more chest and that's going to be our last achievement and we'll be done with this game. So you can pick the new character, new gun and upgrade and start up the game and just keep playing until you kill the slime king. After you kill the slime king, you can get your third chest and after you pick it up, you're going to get your last achievement and you'll be done with this game. So that's it guys, that's the achievement walked in for this game. It's out now on Xbox and Windows, a very easy completion and it's a stack. So thanks so much for watching, I hope this video helped you, leave a like if it did and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>